हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज नेहा पाटिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्नो मैजिक न्यू प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर गाइडेंस ऑफ सेल्स फॉर सी आर एम आई होप यू एन्जॉय द फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड ग्रैप द बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स नाउ वाई आर द कन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन सेल्स फोर्स कंसल्टेंट एंड सेल्स हेड आई एम गो ना एक्सप्लेन यू सेल्स क्लाउड विच इज़ वन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स और यू कैन से एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स फॉर मोर वीडियोज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल Hi I'm a Salesforce consultant I help people with various aspects of Salesforce Hey hi I'm a sales head our company has decided to implement Salesforce to manage our leads we will preparing Salesforce shortly however I'm struggling to understand how Salesforce will help us to manage our business You know that's the excellent question I will explain you key building blocks of Salesforce. Make sure you understand. Let's start with the Sales Cloud. First is the account. Accounts are the organizations. Typically that means customers and prospects. They can be suppliers and consultants. Account have contacts. Contacts are people that work on those accounts. Accounts also have opportunities. Opportunities are sales deal. One account can have one or many opportunities. We can maintain relationship between contacts and specific opportunities. Let's talk more about the opportunities. There are lots of implementations specific to our business. However, there are three main key pieces of information that every opportunity have. First is stage. Stage is pick list. it records where the opportunities in your sales process and it contain values prospecting investigation proposal made negotiation close won and close lost next is the close date this is the date by which you believe the deal will be closed or win or lost the third piece of information is amount this is the revenue or you can say sales value of opportunity The most important part of organization is product. Products are the goods and services that we can sell via an opportunity. Product can be physical things, they can be intangible items like subscription fees or services you deliver to the people. Product can be anything that generate revenue for your organization. We need to just add product into the opportunity. total price or value of your product become the amount for your opportunity we have three piece of information stage close date and amount we can easily analyze our sales pipeline dashboards are the powerful way to do this we can understand size of pipeline by using dashboard we can plan for the performance campaigns are the marketing activities for our products it can be advertising email web form campaigns can result in new leads leads are the people in early stage of the sales cycle in lead three things might be happen we find that the lead is an prospect of customer so we can update lead status to closed secondly lead is definite maybe so we can update status as a contacted third thing can be happen is qualify the lead the person is ready to deal with us that time we can convert the lead to account contact and opportunity here is the beauty of this process opportunity linked back to the original campaign so now we can calculate return of investment of our marketing campaigns and of course we can use dashboard to analyze Oh that's great these products are really useful for our organization it will increase our performance and productivity let's start soon so guys now you know what sales cloud is and how some idea of what you can do with it in next video we will understand this concept little better by using salesforce playground See you soon in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.